Hi, Jay Reynolds, paint manager and estimator for SFW, back again. We're in the Brooklyn neighborhood of Southeast Portland at the 1910 house again, and today we've begun the paint scraping. While the carpentry repairs are going on on the other side of the house, the lead abatement crew is here, and they've begun the work of actually removing the lead paint from the original siding. As you can see, we have all our containment out. The guys are all suited up in their protective gear. It's tough work, but it's what we do. We do it right, and we're off and running. On significant projects like this one, SFW likes to bring in the experts. Today we have Scott Shirley. He's from Orpac and he also represents DuPont and Tyvek. Hey Scott. How you doing? Hey, thanks for coming down today. No problem. My, my pleasure. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the difference between the homes built at the turn of the century and modern construction and what you can do to help us uh, keep the water out of it. Yeah, well, actually the homes that were built back in the day weren't really designed to manage water like the new construction is now. Um, the houses now are managed to, or designed to keep bulk water out of the home, increase energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. Back then, they knew the water was going to get into the home, right. so they intended they built them loops in order to allow airflow and air exchanges in the house to assist in drying the home. So, were we to do that with this home, make it hermetically sealed, we would very likely cause more problems than we'd be fixing because now we'd be restricting the building's ability to dry. It's absolutely correct. It is. Um, there are ways that we can help. Um, for instance, we can address some of the roof-to-wall flashings at the rakes and up at the dormer, dormer styles where we can reduce the amount of bulk water that's getting into the home, mm -hmm. which is always a good idea, but we don't want to restrict the building's ability to dry. So to keep it in its pristine condition, it needs to operate in the same fashion that it was when it was built in the first place. That's right. So in other words, these old houses need to breathe. Thanks for coming down today, Scott. My pleasure. When choosing a company to do this kind of work, you want to choose somebody with the experience to know how the personnel and the licensing to do the job correctly, safely, and get the desired results. And SFW is your clear choice.